get a roasted chicken from Staten Brothers. <laughs> Fuck it, like. Yeah. Would you ever sell yourself a fame and fortune? Nope. Why not? That's where you're gonna find some, some, some women with some good hearts and good butts. What's up, friends? Welcome back to IE and Foodie. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Rex. My name is Hans Esquivel. Today is special guest. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Ochoa, AKA Super Ego. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming. You brought us to a really awesome place here. It's called Michi's Tacos. Um, they, got, they got one in Lake Elsinore. They got one in fucking uh, opening up in Menifee. Uh, so it's a long drive here, but we got here, baby. We got here, and honestly, you guys, from the B-roll we just showed you right now, you watching it right now, looks amazing. Fire, Very fire. excited. Gotta get some birria tacos, you know? We got some queso, queso tacos, queso taco, birria tacos, tacos, queso birria, uh, ramen birria. I'm about to sweat uh, with this ramen. Pupusa yeah. taco. It's a pupusa taco, bro. Pupusa taco. taco. I never yeah. heard of those. What is it? Uh, These are the Michi fries. They just put a, you know, it's seasoned fries, and they put a blanket of cooked cheese on top. I'm excited. Y'all ready? I'm excited to dive in. Let's take a little bite and we'll, we'll get into the conversation. I did grab a little bit, so I'm gonna just already. Yeah. You guys, yeah, you want, gotta you guys got a fork? You got a fork? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take one. Oh, that's a spoon, my That's bad. a spoon, doggy. <laughs> I don't know my lefts and rights. Yeah, what the fork, <laughs> homie? <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I really want to. Put down on the top, the other's red one. Uh, hot, hot, but good. Is that hot one? This one's a little like a creamy avocado, I think. You see how like the weather right now is like, like in the hundreds? Rex will always order sopa. Like no matter, like he's, he's like a Mexican mom's favorite child. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. Yeah. That's funny. Let's take a little bite of I'm a, I'm a big fan of sopa though, bro. Sopa even on hot weather too? I, I mean, if I got AC going, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> this is at, uh, what do you think? Huh? Good. Oh, fuck, it's good. When was the last time you had a, a, a home cooked meal from like your mom? My mom? Fuck. Uh, this past weekend, bro. She came over and made oh, some sure. uh, Fidel for my kids. Ah, I went some in. Some Fidel is that heavy uh, hitting. Yeah, bro. I'd be like, mom, you, uh, make, make a little extra because... I think one of, the, <laughs> one of the things I'm most worried about once I, I get married and move on yeah. is uh, my, my parents cooking, my mom's cooking. Have you been missing now that you like, you got your own family? Have you been missing your parents cooking? There's some things that she just cooks really bomb, right? I'm on pozole, tamales, burrito con papa. Yeah. Love it. Has she like taught Vanessa like any like ingredients or recipes or stuff like that? My mom has a special like red rice. Yeah. That I love the way she makes it. I don't know what it is, but my mom does, but. Oh, is it Spanish rice? Yeah, Spanish rice, right? Like red. But she taught Vanessa how to make that. Oh, fire. So it like, come out the same? Right, baby. It came out the same or? Um, I don't want to say it as well, but it kind of comes out a little bit better oh. than my mom's, bro. Oh, wow. I know. Mom, don't watch this part. Have you seen what's going on at, at, at Knott's Berry Farm? Uh, yeah, I want to ask you. Bro, that. what the fuck? With the Edgars? Oh, with the, the Edgars. Edgars are taking over Knott's Berry yeah. Farm, bro. <laughs> yeah, Knott's Berry Farm put out a statement that they don't condone fighting. Like, I know, bro. Well, someone pulled out like a gun right like i think yeah something like that yeah bro and so they were like ah we don't condone this shit so they, they close it down for the day yeah they close it down for the day bro who's who's going it's like 70 bucks a ticket i think during the summer go fight who's going to go fight and shoot shit like that's 70 bucks bro that's why like for the past year because my cousins are like that age and they're always like at knots break farm every weekend I'm like, bro, I was like, bro, who's paying? Like, who's, who's paying for this? They, the season pass is cheap, no? It's like 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. So you can, yeah. But why not? It's like, why, why go to, they're like messing up the city's like only amusement park. Why would it be the, the season pass holders too? You know, like they're, they're avid, they're always there. I don't know, it don't make sense to me, bro. What do you think about that, the, the editors, the editor cuts? <laughs> bro, you said that in like, there's like one across. <laughs> And that's what I was thinking. I had a theory. Because um, Hans, oh, I, don't, I don't know too much about Rex, but Hans and a lot of our friends, they used to be shufflers and pretty boys, right? Oh, shit, yeah. And, and that was a trend. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was saying, I was like, if my friends now were that age, they would definitely be Edgars. I feel like my mm -hmm. friends would definitely be Edgars. That's what's popping, bro. Yeah, because it's the exact same age. 
the exact same. The records are the exact same. I mean, what happened back then? Yeah. Yeah, because all this stuff used to go to the Ontario mails, huh? Mm -hmm. Just but up. how did it happen? Where did it come from? Uh, where's the wave? From the, the wave pretty boys? I don't know. I don't know. I remember the the big hair of Miguelito, what's it? Uh, yeah, the the paint. Yeah, like paint one of the hair? dude, like hey, it was this big. Can't even it can't even come out in the frame. It was big, but it's yeah. huge. Yeah, I remember everyone seeing that, like, oh yeah, I want that. I never liked it, but then I got to like, <laughs> yeah. I got to a freshman year in high school where I was like, you know, I want to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to school. My mom looked at me and she's like, what the. Like what's wrong with you? Yeah. Bro, my hair, like I, my homie did my hair for me. Let's just say my, my girl at the time, she didn't want to talk to me. She didn't want to be seen around me, bro. <laughs> Was there like um in your past, in your past phases, is there a phase you weren't too uh too proud of? I'll be honest, bro, like, I didn't really do a lot of hair trends, you know? Remember when like the man bun was coming in and everyone was like hopping on that shit? Mm -hmm. I didn't do it really. But when I was in high school, I did like that kind of cholo, like short ass hair on the top. And I just hairspray the shit out of all of it and blow dry it back. So it just looked oh. like a like a cow licked the top yeah. of my head. Yeah. I was looking female though, bro. Yeah. Hella cute. Hella female. <laughs> Hella fool. I recently, okay. um, we had a Sleepy Brown on the I Am Friends podcast. I we'll saw be dropping that, out next Tuesday. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. He brought up the story of how you guys met. Oh, yeah? Like at high school. Uh, Let's he... see how he told you guys. Tell me what he said. <laughs> Tell me what he said. <laughs> he didn't like me. No, he didn't like me. Uh, yeah, he said like, he said, yeah, like I transferred and he didn't like me because like the girl he was like talking to like started wanting me and then we was low key like some tension and then we turned out to be cool. Is that, is that how it oh. is? <laughs> there wasn't a girl, it was all the girls. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. I was like, you know, I was a little cute little boy back then, bro. I, I was like, Wear my little tight little shirts and I had big ass puffy hair at that time. Yeah. And I used to style it really nice. And uh, all the high nuts wanted me. And I remember like telling um, telling Alex, cause I was like one day he showed up and the girls like, I, like the girls like would always kind of show up and talk with me. And then they were like, hey, you see that new guy? Oh, oh yeah, he's cute, huh? And I was like, fuck, I don't know, sure. You know, back then, whatever. Yeah. And then, um, so I remember thinking like, this fool thinks he's all that. You know, he'd come in, he had like very squinty little eyes, you know. <laughs> so that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hate him. You know, I just thought like, like who's, who's this guy? guy? Who's yeah, this guy yeah. being a little extra? Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, so I saw all the girls like slowly talking to him and I was like, hey fool, where's my click at? My Heine click. Yeah. But that was it. But after that, we started shooting shit together. Like, uh, like we did um, school plays and shit. Yeah. And I was like, hey bro, you're a funny vato. <laughs> That was it, bro. After that, like, we kept in contact and shot Cholo shit. <laughs> Hated him. This fool. <laughs> now I hate you, fool. You remember that? Do you guys remember the first time you guys got, like, your first fade? Like, a clean fade? Like, when you guys went like, life change? Yeah, like, life change. <laughs> I was in elementary school, bro. Because that's when my brother was listening to Daddy Yankee. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get the Daddy Yankee haircut. Or the Calle Trece with the designs. So I was in elementary, but one of the first kids get good designs in my hair. And everyone was like calling me weird. And, uh, I, was, and I was like, nah, bro, this is the thing. Yeah. But I was in I was elementary school walking. Damn. Like, right there, yeah. Look at hello, feet, man. My dad is very old school. Very old school, traditional guy, Mexican guy. He never wants to go out. He prefers Mexican um, cooked meals by my mom. Yeah. So one time we convinced him, like, hey, let's go to Olive Garden. My, my dad's like, all right, cool, whatever. So we're going to Olive Garden, right? Yours, pasta, whatever. The waiter comes and he's like, oh, man. Well, he said in English, he told me, well, he told me in Spanish, he's like, oh, you look at the tapatio y tortillas. And I looked at him, I was like, bro, what the fuck? And he literally asked her because the, the waiter was, uh, she speaks Spanish. Yeah. And she's like, oh, like, me da tortillas y, y tapatio. And we looked, we, both, we all looked at my dad, bro, like, bro, what? that sounds so embarrassing. Never again I took him back. You know? <laughs> Swear to God. I'm not gonna take it back. Bro, have you guys seen those TikToks where it's like the family's going to Korean barbecue? Right? Oh, and you go cook it, and then they, this fool came out with like a tortilla flattener and shit. <laughs> I and there's like fucking cooking uh, it on the thing. That's hilarious. That's something. I definitely do something like that on a date just to like make the girl laugh. Mm -hmm. sure. oh, oh, bro. I think that, she'll points. never forget. Bro, yeah, if, yeah. She don't, if she don't laugh, she, she's not the one. She's not the one. You gotta get rid of her. Have you guys ever met girls that are like, High maintenance, 
you know, like, mm, I can't believe you took me out to this restaurant. Mm. Yeah. Or do you have more experiences like, no, honestly, I'll be happy with whatever. Like, take me to McDonald's, I'll get fucked as long as we're just chilling. I haven't met those girls uh, so happy with whatever. If you're out there, hit me up. I'm tired of so all you've just been meeting and dating bougie materialistic girls? bougie girls. Shut up. This is why. This is why. Where are you? Where? where? This is no, let me tell you something about Soho. So is always complains that oh, I'm not gonna find a girl, but he looks for the wrong girls, bro. Yeah, I do get the wrong girls. He looks for the Instagram bro. model type. Girls. If you go on Instagram search, well, at least on my explore page, those are the girls I go after, right? Those are the type. Those, those are the you waiting type for the like. stars, homie? That's what I like, you know. And it always it backfires because they're expensive. These but then you realize they aren't stars, fool. They're not. They, they're can't, just, they can barely hold a conversation. Yeah. The type of girls that can't even pay like half of the bill. But they want like... Exactly. Order like fucking... See, I got, I got a good one right now. I'm chilling. Hell yeah. Same, same, bro. Same, same. Um, my girl's just like... I say McDonald's and she gets excited. She already has her order ready, right? But I'll still take her something nice. You know, and she appreciates that. And um, it's always very like, no, if that's too much, you know, I'm like, baby, don't worry, I got you. Yeah, yeah. But like, even though there's that, like, she says that, I'm just kind of like, yeah, appreciate you. So you might feel too, bro, like, Jack in the Box, Late Night, fucking Alberto's, like, yeah. Kind of salad fries, whatever, yeah. like, just little things, fuck it, we thugging it out, you know? Hell yeah. Get a roasted chicken from State of Rhythm, <laughs> fuck it, like, you know? Shit. Some fried you know? chicken. I'm trying to learn, but, um, it's hard, you know, these are the type of girls I like. I like the gym looking Instagram girls. You yeah. can find one of those, but the, the ones that are good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what gym are you going to, fool? Are you going to Gold's Gym? Are you going to fucking <laughs> nah, Equinox? Just, Where are you going, fool? Nah, I just, I just went to Planet I, Fitness, go to Planet Fitness. <laughs> go to Fitness 19, dog. You know? That's where you're going to find some, some, some women with some good hearts and good butts. Yeah, yeah. Now that you're right. I'm going to Equinox. You can pay the $20 membership, so. So you need, to get, you need to get the door open for you. Bro, have you got the door open for you? Like, um, I don't know if you've seen the movie. Cargo, yeah. I don't know if you've seen the movie, uh, The Bronx Tale. The Bronx Tale. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you know that scene where... Um, Heath that, Ledger, right? Rip, rip, R.I.P. You know that, that, that uh, scene where um, where the guy's like, oh, are you going to take a girl on a date? And you open the door for her, and as you're walking around, and she, does, she doesn't reach over to open the door for you, you dump her. Yeah. Bro, yeah. I swear to God. Bro, I went on a date. Well, it was like the, one, of the, one of the dates I took her on. Bro, nah, because that's when I knew. I opened yeah. the door for her. I went around and go back to my door. Yeah. I just seen her go, and she opened the door. Yeah. And we looked at each other. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. And she's like, we're both thinking the same thing. Yeah. We saw the same thing. And movie. your BP was out. Right? No. And after, like, after that, I was like, hey. uh, on the way home. <laughs> hey, but bro, you know what? You know how crazy it is that some girls, like, I've, I've gone on certain dates where, like, I'm the first guy to open their door. I'm the first guy to have her walk on the inside of the sidewalk. I don't know if you guys do that, but. These are little. These are little points that you can you can add to yourself as a man in value and just and it just stays in her memory. Yeah, forever. she's like, wow, like he might be a five. No, <laughs> but he opens the door. He's a but, he opens the door. Right, but he opens the door, right? So he's a tip. But then, like, I write like a girl a letter, and it's like the first letter she's ever gotten. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's my little that secret. Too, uh, yeah. that, that, that's my. That's what's my. Uh, my ace behind. Hey, you put your. You, you spray your favorite perfume on it, or what? Yeah. I get a stamp. I get an old-fashioned stamp. I heat it up. Hey, so I was writing like he's in World War Two. Like, <laughs> like, I'm like at a bunker. Yeah, like, Dear Jedi. Dear Jedi. Man, fuck that girl, bro. Fuck Jenny, bro. bro. She's like I Jenny, learned a lot bro. from Jenny. Bro, bro, bro that's you fun. learned a lot from Jenny. Yeah, from that you movie, did. Yeah. Bro, speaking about funny, bro, do, do, you, do you really believe in when people say that the funniest people are the most saddest people? I think there, there might be some truth to that. Um, obviously, the comparing is like what, like Robin Williams, yeah. like they have that story. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. Because yeah. if I was to unpack me a little bit, like I, I love to make people laugh. And um, I don't know if it comes from a place of like hurt or pain, really, you know, but it's like, yeah, yeah. It's more like, identity for me you know like i i loved making other people laugh and once i i felt that i was like ooh, i want to keep doing it i like that yeah. i felt good maybe there's some voids in my life i don't know that i don't need i need, I need to talk oh, to a therapist shit. about oh. but <laughs> other than that you know i don't know how about you what do you think i think i'm like Cap I'm, I'm a clown yeah i can't really say a lot of jokes but i'm just a clown like i make some cool funny jokes and i'm like I smile because like I get it from my mom, so I'm like I like being funny because my mom's funny. Yeah. I think the day I, I stop being funny is like I'll probably get depressed. Because okay, oh. that's when you'll be sad. Yeah. If your parents are funny, bro, like the kids are funny, yeah. for sure. That's, I think that's what happened with my girl. Like 
She's funny, bro. And she hates that I tell other people. She's like, stop telling them because they feel like I have to turn it on. I'm like, baby, I'm sorry, but like, that's like my, I, I was so attracted to you because you make me laugh. Yeah. Her timing is so good. Um, but yeah, like, I met her dad and her mom and I was like, oh, your parents are funny. Your mom is like always saying some silly shit, you know, like it's funny. And your dad has like that, those one liners that just fucking at the table, just like, fuck you, you know, like little <laughs> yeah. things that I was like, oh, okay, I see it. Has anybody ever approached you on a bad day? Uh, like, just, yeah. Yeah? How did yeah. that go? Good. I just, I, I put on that mask again. I'm like, what's yeah, up, yeah. man? How you doing? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. What the fuck you want to you know? Get back to my phone call. <laughs> I'm 26 now, mom. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Hey, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. I feel like Hans, when Hans is famous, if he's having a bad day, he's going to let everybody know. He's going, he's going to break the TMZ cameras. <laughs> like Kanye and shit? Yeah, he's going to be on some Kanye shit. Have you ever been funny? Because I've been in situations like that. Have Never. You ever, have you ever oh. been... <laughs> I'm going to take this, bro. You need no, that's yeah, cool. Have you ever been, like, too funny that, like, sometimes, like, you're so happy that you start being funny naturally and it's sometimes you're like around people and you're kind of like no one laughs and you're like oh, fuck, whatever then like i'm just gonna turn my funny down yeah yeah, yeah. You um I mean? you mean like whenever you kind of throw yourself out there to be funny and no, then no, it's like, not received funny not not like in brand new people kind of like in friends and you're like you start joking around and then like everyone's kind of like and you're like oh yeah. whatever like i'm just like on your vibe yeah no nobody's on my vibe and then uh, you just okay. turn it down like how do you have you ever done that i think uh, what's really important there is like to understand the tone of the situation or the dynamic between people. I think if we step into a room, like we can immediately be like, all right, and it's gonna sound weird, right? Like, but who's like alpha, who's alpha funny, who's gonna be like the more emotional? If we put, say if we threw Caesar in here right now, or, like, you know, you would think differently. You guys would be like, oh, if he was here, he'd definitely be doing dot, dot, dot. So I feel like in situations like that, um, you know, I've been around other people that are like funnier than I am, bro. Like, yeah. it actually happens a lot, actually. Like, I don't think I'm that funny. But I know I can think of funny things. I know I can write a funny script. I know I can act funny. But on spot, I'm, I'm just chill. But when I'm around other friends, like I'm just kind of like, oh no, he's he's way too funny. He's he's got that joke, you know. So I kind of stay down. I I stay quiet. And I just take take a, a back seat and enjoy it. To be honest, if I have a good one, I'm like, I'll fucking say this. Ba ba ba. Cool. They all laugh and then slowly go back. Yeah. You know, retrieve. I think that's fucking like dope because we got a we're funny as fuck, but like the homie Fernie, huh? When the homie Bernie says it, we're like, yo, we just, we just, bro, just, is he mean? Is boys. he mean about it? Nah, he's, he's like, like, my boy's he's, quiet. He's, he's like, like quiet. Yeah, he's quiet. Yeah, he's like the. Oh, one of the homeless guys. Yeah, he's like quiet, but he'll say some stupid. Like, he'll say some stupid shit. Like for instance, this is so random and weird, but it's like funny he's, to he's us. He's smart with the jokes. He'd be like, what the? Because we're at the club. He's like, hey. He grabs oh, yeah, yeah. He grabs the A hey, dog. Hey, hold your girl tight, please. Oh, your girl Ty, some, there's, some, there's some real dudes in here. And I was like, <laughs> That's huh? funny. And I looked up, I was like, bro, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just shit like that. It's just so bro, random. So like, random. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like he went up to it, he told me, he's like, he's like, hold your girl tight. He's like, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> and, and Hans started, he got in his head. And Hans was like, Hans was already getting, you know, you know what? It? And he was like, but you're right. He snaps you out of it. He's like, reality check. It's about that delivery, though, too. If he's like the quiet guy and he has to do this to bring you in, like, you're already set up, like, oh, we know that's just about to be funny. Like, you know? Like, the way he sets it up. So that's that's funny. And it was funny because Hans was having the best time of his life. He was dancing and then he comes in his ear and that's the thing. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. I had a friend like that, too, bro, that, that, that was the quiet funny. And, but always looked serious. Like he was, he looked like he was ready to fight all the time. But then like whenever um, we step in somewhere or something like that, like say a club, right? He's like, hey, fool, you look really cute today, fool. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, nah, I'm just kidding, fool. Nah, but I don't know, maybe I might try something. Nah, you know, like little things like that where you're just like, you can't, you don't, you don't know what the fuck they're trying to say, but it's funny, bro. Yeah, that's cool. I think my favorite thing he does is when he just like, he'll text the group chat randomly yeah. and he'll just be like, hey Hans, I heard what happened. Are you okay? Yeah, and then yeah. we're like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, nothing happened. And like, and like, sometimes I'm like, bro, it gets me mad. I'm like, bro, what, why? And he'll be like, hey, Hans, like, be careful, fool. Like, be careful when you're out there. And he's like, no, what did he say last thing? He's like, hey, are you good, Hans? I heard. He's like, I hope, you're, I hope you're fine. And then everyone was like, bro, what happened? People were texting me separately, like, hey, what happened with Hans? Yeah. <laughs> funny dude, hang on to those friends. I'm excited. I'm about to put my funny to the test. I'm doing my first stand-up show. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, August 11th. Y'all pull up. 
I'm uh, just, Where at? Redlands. So if you're free, Alan, if you're free too, pull it up. It's gonna be- Yeah, one up. I mean, me and Caesar are doing it. So it's yeah. gonna be sick, yeah. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do stand-up, but it's the hard part. It's like, when you're on stage, okay, be funny, go. Yeah. So that's, I'm definitely I feel like you have to be guys. funny with like, with the audience. You're gonna bring the audience in. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely bringing and the don't audience Don't be afraid in. to roast someone in the audience. Well, what, did, what did Aaron say? He's gonna bring a bucket of tomatoes? All right, he's bringing a, a bucket of tomatoes. That's nice. Make you some salsa. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> nice friend, that guy, huh? Nice friend. Bringing salsa. I'm gonna be like the guy on SpongeBob when he's on stage. Oh, Ooh, brother, this, this, guy, this guy stinks! Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you tried it? Have you done an open mic or anything? Never done anything like that. I've done live shows like in character. Oh, but I feel like really? when I'm in character, that's whenever like everything just comes to me. But if I'm myself, I feel like I need to have a persona a little bit, you know? Yeah. Even like, so Andrew Schultz, I know you guys, yeah, you guys yeah. want to go see him, right? He likes to do crowd work, right? He likes to talk to people. He likes to be like offensive and then be like, push the little button a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he laughs at his own jokes like really ridiculously, so it almost kind of excuses like, what is that weird laugh? Yeah, yeah. You know? So I feel like there's there's a whole thing like he understands and how to talk to people like that. I um, I haven't tried it. Maybe one day. I did my homie uh, Tim's roast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but my jokes that I had were like simple, bro. That like, they were very small, and everyone had like these. They went in hard on him, and bro, I was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna bomb because my shit's like too nice, you know. So I took that as a lesson. I was just like, uh, I kind of, <laughs> it was a little weird. <laughs> so. It actually reminds me because you brought up when you're on stage, you do the Nigo the Cholo. And yeah. he basically takes over, right? He does. So it's kind of like the second person. So yep. almost like a demonic entity entering your body, right? All right. So there's been All a, right. Wait, whoa, whoa. I was on Reddit. <laughs> what? Wait, what the? I was on Reddit and supposedly. Late at night? Supposedly there's a theory that you sold your soul to become a YouTube. I, I, I YouTube legend. Who? You. Me? <laughs> <laughs> the rumors on Reddit, bro. Are the rumors yeah. true? Are the rumors bro, true? Bro, you wrote that shit. You I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> so you wrote that, you was like, yeah, bro. Is it true you sold your soul to the YouTube gods? Never, dog. Would you ever sell your soul for fame and fortune? Nope. Why not? It's a full moon tonight. All right, you know, come on. <laughs> you believe in that shit? You yeah, believe in like, that shit? Yeah, but I don't think it's actually like you ever sell your soul. Like your soul doesn't belong to you, it doesn't belong to like the devil, to be honest. You think it's more like a metaphor, like I'm selling my soul to this company I sold out to? Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. And they do whatever the fuck they want with yeah. you. Yeah, do whatever the fuck, you know? I feel like the devil don't come at you whenever you're doing that bad shit, you know, or doing some terrible shit. He'll come at you whenever you're doing the good stuff, and I feel like getting closer to God and whatnot, you know? Oh, hell yeah, 100%. That's how I feel about it. And as I got older, I got more religious, to be honest, you know? Like tapping into that spiritual shit. <laughs> spiritual shit. <laughs> you be cracking up like dad jokes now? The older you get? Oh, I've always cracked up at dad jokes, dog. <laughs> always. Like the cheesier, the better, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. Even when the delivery is, is terrible, like I'll laugh at that. You know? Yeah, that's my shit. That's why like, I like that like your homie that's just making that random like, you know, subtle yeah. jokes. Yeah. There could be other people that don't understand his type of comedy. And they can be like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, you're weird. Yeah. yeah. And when you see that, you're like, ah, oh, you're whack. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you don't get the comedy. Yeah. So that's how I feel with dad jokes, to be honest. I'm like, we know they're dumb. Yeah. But we're still gonna laugh, you know? What's up with Andrew Tate, bro? You know Andrew Tate? <laughs> bro, he's all over TikTok, bro. Um, he's taking over the- I like some of the shit he says. Sometimes I'm like, this guy's like it's, out of control. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely, uh, you never know if he's serious or not, but that dude's hilarious. He's like, I'm rich as fuck. I know I can, you know, <laughs> sit on this shit while he's getting massaged and oiled by some chick in the back. He's smoking that. a cigar. Huh? Yeah. I always put his glasses on too. He makes some points. How do you guys feel yeah. about some of the points? No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I know people are gonna get mad at the girls. Hey, I don't care. The thing is, he says some shit, bro, that's like. Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> he says some shit that I'm like, damn, that's, that's actually true. Yeah. I think sometimes it pops out like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know? So there's one where he's talking about like girls like saying, uh, I wanna go out and have my fun right now. Uh, and then like get married later, yada yada. And he's he's trying to make a point that's just like, yeah, but you know what? Like you're running these miles, but don't be surprised whenever some of these guys don't want you if they know that your yeah, number yeah. is high, if you have like a kid or you yeah, know, yeah. you got your shit together. And she's like, so what? Like why? And he's just talking about, he's just like, yo, your, your, your value just went down. It's like a car coming off the property. 
<laughs> and like the way he just says things, I'm just like, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's unapologetically yeah. too. Yeah, I think like he says truth, but the way he explains it yeah. just makes it like harder. You're like, ooh. Analogies. He talks fast. Yeah, the and analogies like, boom, are boom, crazy. Boom. And so, yeah, and the girls are sitting there like, well, okay, so I'm an object. So yeah. Yeah, they say <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, I'm an object, right? I'm an object. Wait, what? Oh, I said the girls get mad because the way he says it, and the girls be like, oh, you think I'm an object? We're not objects. Yeah, we're... yeah. I mean, he's, he's using analogies like yeah. that that'll... Yeah, it that, shows... It's a shock is what he does, too. He's yeah. just like, whoa, whoa, well, I wasn't expecting to be talked to like this. But then, solid kind of valid points <clears throat> and analogies. Anyways, you probably smashed all those girls in that no, table. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. The more, the more sometimes I'm like, I can't take them serious because he's like... I almost died yesterday for the first time in my life. He's like, if it would have been any of you, you guys would have been dead 100%. He's like, but not me, I'm a professional. And I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? There is, there, I saw, he did an interview with the, it's, I think it's the BFFS podcast. And they were calling, they were like saying, oh, you're misogynistic. He's like, I'm not misogynistic. Like, I actually love women. I'll actually give you a statistic. 100% of the women I slept with are all women. He's like, I love women. I was yeah. like, <laughs> Smart guys. <laughs> He's also a smart ass too. Yeah, right? yeah. You know what I, mean? I like it when he talks about government. How like yeah. he'll rather live he'll rather have ten passports and live in another country and play ball, meaning like, you know, bribe and be well, not live in the US and and not be able to play ball with the rich billionaires, you know? Yeah. I really Damn, I haven't seen that one, but that's an interesting that, that one's good. perspective for sure. Cause ten passports. Yeah, passports. It's bouncing around. There's another guy, his name is, uh, you see the Samuel Kevins or Kevin Samuels? He just died Oh recently. yeah, he just passed away. You know yeah. why he passed away? Cause so he would, uh... Um, a woman. Women. No. <laughs> so he would always like criticize like fat, overweight girls, right? And that's what he died of. He died of like health conditions for eating bad. Damn. Isn't that crazy? Damn. The irony. Damn. The irony. That's how Wait, he, who is that though? He, he was like another one, like, another, like one of... You, if like, you see uh, him, you, you know him. He, he, he fucking walked so that Andrew Tate could fucking fly. Yeah, yeah. Guy. He started, like, he was before Andrew Tate. Probably, like, a couple months before. He do, like, little, like, call on, on the lines, like, lifeline type of things. And he talk to women and he get on, like, uh, a chat with them. And he pissed them off. He's like, no, get your ass to the gym. Because yeah. you're fucking rat. Is it like, the, the older black dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He died, yeah. 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 Now, he passed away because of health conditions. Because like, yeah. he wasn't eating right. Wow. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. I don't know. I was telling Hans, I think like there's been so much on social media that these guys and these personas and uh, the algorithm has been changing because they want they're throwing that masculinity shit on on us now. You know what I'm trying to say? Like kind of yeah. saying like, oh you got this feminine like, yeah. And now now we're giving y'all like the real real masculinity yeah. shit. You know, whether well, you like it or not, like here's your algorithm, bro. Well, how you guys feel about that? You know, like they they say that like our masculinity is being like attacked and you know, claiming to be a dude, being a man, and just saying things that are like um, misogynistic, I guess. Like, that they, they just throw it all under that yeah, same yeah. title. Uh, that's, what what I, that, that's what I was telling him. Like, I feel like people, people they say, like, oh, you, you have your own, uh, you have your own voice, your own opinion. But, like, we really don't. If we say something, you're sexist or... Offending somebody you now. You're offending someone. Yeah. So, it's like, we really can't even say shit. I think, it, yeah, I think it's tough to, like, at least try to be, like, like masculine. Because then it's like a fine line of being masculine and being misogynistic and sexist, yeah. and you can just get canceled. So people are more afraid yeah. to kind of speak their opinion on that. Can I say, you know? can I say something? I think yeah. to move forward with this information, like, obviously let the, let the Andrew Tates and like the Kevin Samuels, let them do their shit and let them yeah. talk however they want. And we can, you know, secretly be like, hee <laughs> okay, I, you know, I, uh, I also, you know, fucking, I say whenever you agree with someone, I, uh, fuck, I, uh, vouch, vouch. Damn, there's a fucking word. Anyways, <laughs> but you can do all that. Uh, but I feel like if you just do everything with, it sounds corny, but with love, yeah, yeah. like moving forward, you can be a little more sensitive to other people's feelings, but still be strong about your opinions and values. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, just do it in a respectful way, bro. Because yeah. people come from different places. Yeah. You know? Kind of like Andrew Schultz. Man. Yeah. I feel like everything he says, he can get away with it. Yeah, it's, it's funny. No, no, I feel more uh, yeah. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Dave yeah. Chappelle is fucking. Yeah, yeah Dave Chappelle. Oh. But but this shit's gonna come and go. We're not gonna hear about him probably 10 years from now. So yeah. it's like, it depends how you live your life, bro. Yeah. You know, if you fuck up, cool. If you don't, like, that's, that's on you. So, it's just there's a lot of young kids that are growing up in that, like, 
That's so it's kind of fucking up on like, yeah, you know, like people who don't have mentors and don't have no one to look up yeah, to. Bro. They like see this guy as like everything. Yeah. So they might get some wrong ideas here and there. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm a tick girl on the day and this I'm a treater because I saw some shit on TikTok. So you're saying I can't open up my own door? I can't pay for my own meal? Yeah. You saying I can give myself cunnilingus? <laughs> Sucks for all bad. And it's crazy because it's my versa, bro. Like just for watching Andrew Tate, like the girls probably watching uh, like their shit, you know? Yeah. So it's like trying to get us a little fucking arguments. But it's now, confusing, like, bro. But... This shit's gonna come and go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's gonna collapse on itself, bro. Yeah, I think bit, so too. Yeah. yeah. Whereas one day he's just gonna he's gonna talk too much. He's just gonna kind of. Like, wait, didn't you say this before? Didn't you say that before? And then it's just gonna, the credibility is gonna go away. Like Elon Musk, you know? Like, everyone was worshiping him. And then turns out he had like a kid with like one of the CEOs of his company, like a secret kid that he hid. Oh, yeah, that was the seventh. And then his dad, and then his dad, um, his dad had a daughter. His dad's stepdaughter. He hooked up with her or something like yeah, that. And is having a kid. And is having a kid. Wait, his dad. And all that. His dad married another, you know, had a second, uh, another wife. Yeah. And the wife had a daughter. So Elon Musk's dad had a. An affair, an with, affair the with the daughter. Well, not, not his daughter, but like this. Yeah, the, yeah. So it's like the more you get famous, the more you get rich, the more you're making noise. People are going to dig into you and find something. And. Rich like people problem, bro. I feel like that's what's going to happen with Andrew Tate. I feel like they're going to find out something about him, and it's going to... They can. Yeah. You know, so he pisses hunt. off the wrong person, Yeah, you know? yeah. I was saying, huh, he's rich because he owns casino. The casino's in Romania with the mafia. But so that's also, like, if you get dig deep, bro, that's like some deep But shit. he also started with sex work. He had a bunch of cam girls. And then, so I feel like that's already in a... <laughs> if you find out a little bit more stuff, you can find some sketchy shit. But he seems like one of those type of guys, like, I don't care, that's just... This persona, my image. Yeah. I fuck that. Like he still has his money. Yeah, that's what he says all the time. He's yeah. like, I can't get canceled. Yeah. Yeah. Like and he doesn't live like, on social media. I'll just if, if anything you destroy me on social media. Yeah, he yeah. Probably goes on and still doing my thing. You know. So I get it, but I, you know, like I said, just do everything with love moving forward and try to do it with not love. piss off people. You know, like yeah. for what? Exactly. I think it's a good place to wrap up. Yeah. Food was great. Uh, really do like huh? It was a lot for sure. Need the last one. You did, damn, bro. Damn, huh? to go to go yeah, I thought you laughed. but thank you guys for watching really do appreciate it. definitely come out take, come check out Michi Tacos really Michi bomb. Tacos in Lake Elsinore the Agua was good yeah the new one in Murieta and Menifee oh sorry yeah, yeah Menifee 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 yeah. Menifee 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 yeah, thank you Eric for joining us thanks for having me guys we do appreciate you thank 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 you guys for watching thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment share subscribe go check out Eric's channel he's got some new content dropping Check out me, Saul Gomez. Got a stand up show coming up. Uh, I got more shows coming in, DJing pretty much. Good luck. Nice. Sure. Uh, well, you can find me on Instagram, Hans underscore Esquivel. Esquivel. Yes, I'm, I'm Mexican. My name's German. It's cool, bro. I know sometimes you guys are like, what? It happens, it happens. when you when your dad fucks a German. I'm just kidding. Yeah, he gets inspired. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week. Yeah. Peace.